What is going on guys? My name is AJ and we are here playing Bound by Flame. Uh, we just got done completing chapter 2 and uh, I gotta level up. Which is always fantastic. Uh, I'm starting to love my uh, fire abilities and my uh, my demon, demon self, I guess. Um, hmm... What is this? I don't really use that, so let's do this. That's fine. Um, the last video I tried to go back to find a, a way to get to that treasure chest, and uh, I couldn't find it. Um, uh oh. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't find it, so um, I know this place. The village is not far away to the right. I couldn't find it, so I just left it. If you guys uh, know how to get to that chest, please let me know. I would love to collect it. Why aren't you attacking? Um, I do plan on going back and replaying this um, without basically fighting the demon the whole time. That's my goal. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, dead walkers are everywhere. I feel like they know we're here. Try to get away from that. Didn't work. Not a good sign that they're so close to the city. <clears throat> Hopefully the captain and buffalo are okay. And all my other people. Say, Buffalo's kicking everyone's butt. Mm. 
All right, Buffalo, just hang out, buddy. Um, if you guys haven't played a uh, a Spiders game um, before, they give you lots of choices, and. Uh, That's why I'm saving as much as I am. I'm very afraid that they're gonna offer me a lot of choices and I, I'm gonna pick something I don't like. That guard seems rather well prepared. It's probably my, my doing. Where is he? for a minute. I'm trying to loot here. Jeez. Trying to loot and that punk is just going all over the place. Alright, what am I doing? What is two? I think that would be a secondary quest, I believe. Defensive of the village. Yeah, let's go. Can I talk to you? No. Survive. Uh, let's not go to the center of town. Let's go uh, the other direction. It's so the way where uh, Buffalo normally stands is another junction point um, to to a gate. So I want to see if that gate's holding. Okay, we're gonna save. Uh, save a new one. But yeah, the reason I'm saving so much is simply because of the choices. They give you a lot of choices in this game. So I'm heading to the center of town. Um, unfortunately, I have to take a potion. Um, I would go there eventually, right? All I needed one, and I had one. That's all right. Yeah. Let's 
let's do this. Okay, so this is a gym. Who the heck is that? The prince is on the move again, and he's not wasting any time. The puppet he confronts is not like the others. It's more likely to be the puppet master. He looks like a dead walking general. He's probably leading the assault on Valdemar. All of this power he animates with, it belongs to me. It was stolen and twisted by your miserable magicians. It is time to take back what is mine by right. If you're planning to take care of him like all the others, sounds good to me. Prince Arundel won't last long facing that kind of monster. He is using more power than the Dalmils allow me to deploy. I can take care of myself, and here's my plan. I'm gonna come at him with everything I've got. Killing their general is gonna screw up our enemies big time. Let's go do it. Ah! Can't see. Nobody puts baby in the corner. I didn't kill him. He said my name in there somewhere. I know not what my father did to him, but he seems to want to take your sandwich personally. Okay, well, thanks for wasting. Ice hurts really bad. Ow, how did he hit me? I'm glad that I'm jumping out of the way so much. I say, I did not put it in the final blow, but I'll take it. wrestling move. I got demon eyes now. That's pretty cool. Woo, guys. That was one tough death set. But it won't command anyone now. Without their general, the dead walkers should leave us alone for a while. But they'll reorganize, so we can't stay here. You're right, mercenary. Let's use the time to leave. It's now or never if we're going to get to Karabthas. My father and the armies of the Free Nations should be there. If we hurry, we may be able to participate in the mother of all battles and finally push back the Ice Lords. If thou dost throw thyself into this battle, the only thing that thou wouldst find is thy death. And the only chance thou hast for saving this world will disappear with thee. 
Their armies will not win. He knows this, but that is not what motivates him. He is seeking his father's approval. He wants to buy the crown by delivering us to his king. He believes we are at his command. But he is mistaken. I only serve and live for the world heart. Thy elven city is closer. I can feel it. Forget these suicidal battles. If thou join with them, thy so-called friends will end up turning against thee out of fear or envy. What? <laughs> I'm... I'm so confused. What is going on? Um... Ranvol is a man of honor. He will fight at my side whatever I do. The knight without a cause. He wants only one thing. To die with dignity in a desperate battle. Dost thou really believe he would rather follow thee than join in a lost combat? Thou hast no more choice. Thou must hasten to the world heart and purify it. It is thine only chance. Do combat there, and if thou art not slain, at least one of thy companions, if not all of them, will betray thee to try to control or study the power I bring thee. Vulcan? Vulcan? You were far away. Is it the demon? He was talking to you, wasn't he? Yes. It happens sometimes. You have to make a decision soon. Will you join us in the battle at Keralthas? I don't know yet. I understand. It's been a long day. I'll let you think it over for a while. Let me know when you've made a decision. Well, all right. Um... Did the general not have any loot? Because that's kind of what I want. Um... Yeah, let's talk to these guys. What do you intend to do now? We can't stay here. I have to talk things over with the other members of my order. But we planned on going to Koralthas. And I think that is still the best idea. Everything that is left of the human and elf armies is there. If we join forces, we should be strong enough to hold out against the Deadwalkers. The contract with your company only ends once there, anyway. And I doubt your captain wants to break it. What's more, it might be an excellent opportunity to learn more about your guest. The Elven Sages are famous, and their library holds many reference books. And I suggest, until we should learn more, that you neither listen to it nor obey it. I think it's lying to you, manipulating you, and that it has other goals than just our survival. I'm pretty sure that's the truth. Arundel wants me to go with him to Karolthas. What do you think? You should go with him. Karolthas is our only hope for now, and the prince seems like a good man. We would be safer there. Both the human and elven armies are gathered there, and I believe you may find some answers there also. The elven sages are some of the wisest people on Vertiel. If anyone can figure out what has happened to you, they can. It's pretty obvious what happened to me. A demon has somehow gotten into my head, and now I gotta live with it. And this does not worry you? Yeah, it's starting to scare me. I can imagine. These new powers come at a price. And I fear that you, Vulcan, your very self, may be the price that has to be paid. You must go to Carolthas so they can examine you. I believe you must find a way to control this thing, or even rid yourself of it before it's too late. Okay. She seems cool with Corral Fast, or whatever it's called. <clears throat> let's talk to some other people. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what Randall 
has to say. Prince Arundel is asking us to join up with his forces in Carapass to fight the Dead Walker army. What do you think? For years now, the Knight has fought in many battles and with many different armies. The generals, the kings, and the chiefs of those armies were usually ready to sacrifice the lives of their men with no remorse in order to win. If the mercenary goes to Carol Fass, this prince will use him for his own purposes and sacrifice him if needs be. He cares for nothing beyond his own safety. And if he is faced with the Ice Lords, he would turn and flee, as did his brothers before him. The knight is weary of these doubts and petty thoughts. He wishes to return to the attack and strike the Ice Lords at their very hearts. If he was in the mercenary's place, he would listen to the demon and follow its plan. And he would like to know that he would not stand alone in this final battle. Well, alright then. He's against going there. That's what the captain has to say. We'll be able to break camp soon. Where's our next objective? For now, we're going to stick with the Red Scribes. They haven't paid us yet, and they won't until we reach Karolfas. In any case, that's where we're headed. I sent Wolf on ahead of us a few weeks ago to see if he could find fresh volunteers for us. But I don't think there's much hope of that. This war is looking worse and worse for us. In ten years fighting, the Dead Walkers haven't lost a single battle. I suppose we could hide for a while. But considering what's left of Bertiel, that would be like hiding in a pile of ashes. We have to come up with some alternatives. And for now, I can only think of one. The demon. For the moment, it's the only count we have left to play. Thy captain is less stubborn than thee. But thinks I should perhaps have chosen him R as a vessel. He is the best weapon we have. Since he's been with me, we've beaten a juggernaut and a dead walker general. He could be the thing that changes the course of this war for us. I never know if it's you or it that's talking to me. But I feel like we have the same goals. So let's go to Carol Pass. We'll link up with our brothers in arms and try to find a way to access the world heart. I'm not going to pretend this isn't the best plan I've ever made. To tell you the truth, it's not even a plan. But I guess we're going to have to defer to this demon. It doesn't want me to go to Carol fast or whatever either. Um, I don't really like these options though. Didn't like any of that. We'll save there. That's fine. I, I don't really care. Do you think we ought to follow the prince to Carol fast? If you want to get to the World Heart, we'll need to go by there. But the prince's company seems both unnecessary and dangerous. Believe me, I know his type all too well. Invested with a mission, he is soon overwhelmed by... ...probably named by some obscure prophecy. In the name of his family, or because of an idealized vision of his future duties as sovereign, he will give his all. In other words, all his imbecility. Chasing after glory and honor, unprepared and unprotected, he will only lead us to disaster. Seeing the shit we're in, I don't think he's doing it just for the glory. He's got an interest in having everybody survive. And in making it look like everyone has survived entirely due to his talents, and not those of a mercenary who can produce flames and defeat a general of the Dead Walkers. Do you really believe he wants you around just because he enjoys your company? Not to mention the increasing threat implied by our friends dressed all in red. What do you suggest we do? When we get to Carol Pass, we better give them the slip and head to Blackfrost's domain. Why should we go down there? Because those lands are positioned quite close to the city of the elves. And like all the lands of the Ice Lords, it's a point of entry into the world heart. Hmm, I liked this plan. I've never dealt with this guy, so he's definitely not going to be on my team. Do you think we should listen to Prince Arundel and go with him to Karlthas? The great elven army and what is left of the human army in this part of Vertiel are now gathering at Karlthas. Separately, none of these troops stood a chance, but united. Well, in any case, it's the only hope we have left. 
Reinforcements from the Freeborn Blades and Red Scribes will help. And so will you, from what I've seen. And even if I don't approve of all the strategic choices made by my Sovereign these last few years, I think he'll rise to the occasion now that he can no longer retreat. He knows the lands around Carol Thass perfectly, so I'm sure he will bring the battle onto terrain that will favor us. And since you're curious to know more about what happened to you, my people's scholars are famous. They can surely help you. You've got it all figured out. I believe we can manage to hold the Deadwalker army back this time. Though it's a bit early to start celebrating. Okay, so it basically seems like I have to go to Carol Fest or whatever it's called. And uh, I don't really have an option not to. Uh, but I guess we'll see. Everyone seems to think that we should at least go there. I like her idea of giving him the slip and vanishing. So, let's see. I'm going to save again real fast and uh, talk to what's-his-face? Prince Arundel is asking for... Prince Arundel is asking. Okay. We have talked to everyone. We'll be able to. That's not a good idea, Captain. Well, up until now, he's been useful. Do you. There you are, at last. All right, let's try this one. We will go together to Karathas, but once there, our paths must part. I have to find the world heart and purify it. I hope that you will change your mind on the way. We will need you. See what good it did them? Now that I am revealed, the sorcerers will covet this power. As do thy supposed allies. Thou shouldst be aware of them and their weakness. Let nothing stop thee from preserving thyself lest we finish, as did the dragons. Perhaps it is time I took things in hand. Falcon, have you seen something? They use thee. Huh. Seem to have turned more into a demon. Coming, Vulcan. Your captain will be wondering where we are. Huh? Uh, yes, of course. Let's go. There you are, sire. Right. Change of plan. Seeing how cold it is, it will come as no surprise to you to learn that the dead walkers have already been here. They are still close. We must rejoin my father's army as swiftly as we may. I think we already found them. Take a look around us. There are survivors. Apparently they are camped not far from here. This soldier will lead us to them. Prince Arundel, my lord, can it be you? Soldier, what happened here? Is the king with you? The dead walkers took us by surprise. 
the cold and the ice. We stood no chance. Almost all of the city has been invaded by the ice. My father, where is the king? I... I know not, your highness. But a few of us were able to escape. Lord Commander Valen has built a camp close by the city. Valen is here. Take us to his camp. By your leave. Follow me, my lord. My prince, we had lost all hope of seeing you return safe. We have no word from Bastion. Bastion is lost, Valen. We came into this war too late. The General of the Alliance gave his life that I should escape with Relmar. The Deserter. What business did he have at Bastion? The Deserter was fighting, while you and your wondrous army waited warm and safe, sat upon their asses. I hope the result is pleasing to you, Valen. Silence, both of you. Relmar saved my life, Valen. For now, you will consider him pardoned. By your will, my lord. And I see that you are escorted by the Freeborn Blades. In truth, they are escorting the Red Scribes. But their presence is our good fortune. They have already once put the dead walkers to rout in the marshes. This man slew one of their generals before my very eyes. I will tell you more of this later. Now I must speak with my father. Where is he? No one knows, my prince. The king was still in the royal palace when the river Estelduin fell upon the city. The river? What happened? Twas like a great wave that froze all that it touched. We had seen the approach of the Deadwalker's vanguard four days before, and we had raised Keraltos' defenses in preparation. Not even the sight of ten juggernauts would have feared us. But we never dreamt that an Ice Lord would come to lead the assault himself. He walked calmly to within an arrow's flight of the gates, never once speaking. And then the river rose up from its bed to form a gigantic cloud that hung up over Keraldos. We understood our peril too late. Near all of our soldiers stood atop the ramparts or in the streets when the ice cloud fell. All were frozen where they stood. That was his signal to launch their assault, but we were already vanquished. We fought to cover our retreat. We must find the king! I know, my prince, but every entry to the city is guarded, and we cannot risk being discovered. It is clear we will not travel 200 paces if we do not first slay the sentinels close to the encampment. Only then will we be able to attempt to enter the city and save your father. I'm sorry. But you'll be going without the Freeborn Blades. Our mission here is completed. We will only be able to go on a reconnaissance mission. I had men in Karlthas. If they're still alive, I must do all I can to get them out. But if it's confirmed that they're dead, my company are leaving. The Red Scribes have been delivered to Karlthas. Our contract has been fulfilled. We are only delivered outside the city gates of Karlthas, Captain. The gold that we owe you lies inside its walls. We have brought you as close as is possible. I will not send my men to their slaughter. You are in the hands of the Elven army now, Liestas, as was promised. The fact that you failed in your mission is not my problem. You can keep your god's damn gold. There's nowhere left in this cursed region to spend it anyhow. That is regrettable, Captain. Your experience would have been a boon to us. I can only hope you will reconsider your decision. Some of my soldiers tell me that the Deadwalkers have taken prisoners. Perhaps your own men are amongst those unhappy souls. Hmm. Vulcan, we'll make camp close to the south gate. You go and question those lads. With a little luck, one of them might have seen something. Understood, Captain. Wait! Wait! There are many powerful creatures around us. How powerful? One of them feels too strong, even for you. The others are less able to resist you. You should start with the weaker ones and absorb their energy before taking on the big one. Do you think you can handle it? I'll let you know after I've tried. Huh. Now let's see what he looks like all flamed up now.
Do it. It's got little, uh... He's starting to burn. He's got little demon horns, I think, popping out of his head. That's interesting. I don't like the helmet anyways right now. It's definitely the armor I want. I just can't really increase it right now. Make it better. I don't really have the parts. Ooh. Why are you following me? Okay, he sells potion stuff. Damn, it's freezing here. Aren't you cold? I've spent many winters in libraries with no heating. After that, you hardly notice the cold. Which reminds me, do you know if the library in the city is still intact? No idea. You looking for any book in particular? Not a book, many books. The elves have the most advanced culture in the world. Their libraries contain works of inestimable value. We should find them. They could be useful to us. I don't like him anyways. Okay, guys. Uh, now that we got that going on, we're going to go ahead and call that a video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more from Bound by Flame.